Hey, what is up guys? It's Zach Clausen here representing Clausen Exercise. We're here with Kyle Andrasiak, an incredibly inspiring individual. We're here out on a very windy day on the perimeter, not too far from where Kyle's gonna be doing his journey. Kyle is going to start his, what is it, rollerblading across Canada? Across Western Canada. Western Twice. Canada. Going there and back again, the original Hobbit story. <laughs> So has anyone else ever done that before? No one has crossed Western Canada twice or even gone through the mountains once in general. No one's done anything like this in a costume for that matter. And I will be the first to also do it on rollerblades. Wow, when do you leave? This Saturday, August 18th. So why don't you tell us a little bit about why you're doing this cross country rollerblade-a-thon. Well, the fact that today, even with all the money that's gone to research in whatever way, shape or form for cancer care, cancer is still a tremendous part of everyone's lives. Go to your nearest mall, says food court, is completely packed. If you were to get on a microphone and be like, hey, raise your hand if you've been affected by cancer in one way, shape, or form, sad fact of the matter is everyone's raising their hand. Whether it's food court, a concert, or arena, wherever you are, everyone's gonna raise their hand. Everyone's been affected by it in one way, shape, or form. So how does what you're doing right now connect to how you're influencing that? Well, if I can cut down the amount of, say, 10 people get cancer a month, if I can cut that down to eight, that is huge, that's astronomical. So let's say if you were to get cancer right now, you do the whole chemotherapy, and let's say, let's say it works perfectly. Getting that diagnosis, that's still devastating. That's a tremendous amount of stress on your body. No one wants to watch a family member go through that. Whereas now, if you don't get cancer, you skip all that, everything's essentially hunky-dory. So is what you're doing right now, is it just raising awareness, or? I'm focusing on the cancer care and the cancer prevention for it, as I said. Okay. You have to skip the cancer part, Everything's essentially hunky-dory. Your body doesn't have to go through radiation. You get the family drama, the stress of it in any way, shape, or form. And the fact that I personally have been very, very affected by it. My grandpa is 87 right now, and in the last 13 years, he has had more radiations than Dalmatians. He has had exactly 103 radiations done. Oh my goodness. Uh, with three different cancers, he's beaten all together seven times, I believe. So Kyle, why don't you tell us a little bit about your organization, what you are doing this run through. My organization is called Gorilla Cure. Our objective is to prevent people from getting cancer. Right now, help ease the pain of those going through cancer, make it that much better. So if I can knock the number, say, if 10 people get cancer a month, if I can knock that down to eight, that is huge. And how are you gonna do that? I am going to rollerblade 53 days for 100 kilometers a day from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada to Vancouver, BC, and then all the way back to Thunder Bay, Ontario, fishing off at the Terry Fox statue. Wow. So are you, are you feeling prepared? As prepared as I can be. <laughs> you can't really ever be too prepared for something like this. Yeah. Since I will be wearing this lovely pink gorilla suit the entire way. You've been training in the suit? I have. It's been a sweaty good time, Zach. <laughs> you must have gone through quite a few suits. Oh, yeah. I have six in total. Oh, man. Well, I had six. One got set on fire. So now I have five. So what can uh, somebody watching this do to support you on your journey? You can go on the GoFundMe page and search up Roll Gorilla Roll or Roll for a Cause is what the whole marathon itself is called. Find me on Instagram under Pink Gorilla 1234 Any links to what I'm doing will be posted. For those of you that don't have social media stuff, there will be a blog page that you can find anything and everything you wish to know about the marathon itself. There's a little mini monkey named Gary. Wherever Gary is, is where I will be across Canada. Sweet. If Gary's in Regina, the pink gorilla Kyle will be in Regina. Sweet. Yeah, that's awesome. So yeah. they can find you on these platforms to find out how you're doing during yes. your marathon. Yeah, so you can go via Instagram, my Snapchat, Facebook, which is the fan page for Facebook is Winnipeg's Pink Gorilla. It'll come up down to Chaka. If it doesn't, the other one will forward you to the main one. Thank you so much for joining us, Kyle. So you can find Kyle on his GoFundMe, Roll, Gorilla Roll. Just search it up. You'll find him. You can show your support there. Thanks for joining us, Kyle. We wish you all the best. Thank you. Always a pleasure.